Walter. And Buck, it's interesting listening to Glaber there talk about his at bat in the sixth inning. He failed with the bases loaded. He struck out, and it sounded like that was kind of rolling around in his mind for that next at bat in the eighth. You know, Bob, that, that's this time of year. You know, every at bat, you know, whatever's happened to your season, whatever individual you may be able to. Uh, to look back on when the season's over. Right now, it's about that moment. It's about that game. It's about the team. And that's what's so beautiful. When you're in it late in the year, the leaves are turning. You know, every step with a leaf under your foot has a crackle to it. I don't want to get too poetic here. But it's a special time of the year. You got a little temperature change, and everything kind of moves towards competing. What's best for the team? Taking a ball and hitting down the right field corner, uh, maybe a little pop up to left field by Gallo, a big throw out, hey, I'm not starting tonight. I can come in and contribute. Those are the things that uh, you really miss about being involved in October when you're not. But Glaber Torres has been through a lot recently, lost his shortstop job, had to answer questions about some defensive mistakes that he has incurred. But I wanted to hit you with a couple of stats. He's got a nine game hitting streak. Since August 1st, he's hitting over 300. And when he thinks small, as I think he did in that at-bat, he seems to have a lot more success. What did you think about his approach in that final at-bat? Jack, I think you're exactly right. And I think it's no accident that by moving off of shortstop, it just seems to have relaxed him a little bit. You know what I enjoyed the most was seeing him smile. And seeing him rolling around at home plate after the slide, seeing him talking to Meredith and smiling, we haven't seen a whole lot of that this year. And, and I think, uh, you know, doing well and contributing to the team and feeling good about your contribution. And turn the page on the previous at bat. He had a tough at bat in a key situation. And it could have been a very frustrated, frustrating night for the Yankees because they had some people on third or less than two out and could, couldn't get it done. Some big arms out of Texas, but at the same time, uh, they're capable of, of uh, handling those situations, especially. LeMahieu, it really was surprising. You know, you mentioned uh, Glaber Torres having something to smile about right now in the outcome of this game. You could say the same about Gary Sanchez. He's splitting time with Kyle Higashioka. Higashioka got the start with Kluber on the mound today and had a couple big hits, but it was Gary Sanchez coming up with that home run. Important at bat because it then allows Chapman to breathe a little easier in the ninth. You know, Bob, what I, I, I love to watch is Gary doesn't, you know, have his emotions on his sleeve, but that little booyah after he threw out the guy at second base, watching him go down the dugout and receive the congratulations. But you know what? Everybody in that dugout has kind of been in Gary's situation. When you're on that big stage, especially in New York, you've all gone through periods where there was some criticism and it's a, it's a tough time for you. So you really have a, a, a sense of sympathy for your teammate. And you can see how big everybody thought and knew that was for Gary in that moment and they kind of lived uh, with him during it and that was that was good to see.